Another day, another movie. And this one is a daytime movie. It is for the children's. I'm seeing it here at the at the Regal, the Hollywood Regal. And uh, so this one, it is an old movie. It is called The Happiest Defeats Number Two. And I've never seen it. And I don't think I've seen the first one. If I did, it was a long time ago. I have no idea what's going on. So, uh, yeah, so I will tell you more about it when I get back in the car. What do you say? Yeah. I go to the movies. Who would have thought? So, here's my opinions. My opinions don't matter. Your opinions don't matter. What? We just put our opinions on the internet. It's what we do. As a culture. No one knows why we do it, but we can't seem to stop. So, for what it's worth, I'm THE Joshua Lukoku, and these are mine. Happy Feats, number two. Uh, yeah, so, uh, I don't remember seeing the first one at all. I don't remember any of these characters or anything that's going on. But, uh, I found this to be quite enjoyable, actually. I thought it was pretty good. It, uh, this one... So, uh, obviously, it's an older movie, and some of the music was... <laughs> it, it was a bit, it was a bit dated, seemed like. It's a little surprised. Has, uh... It focused more on, on rap music than I would have suspected. But apparently these penguins, they really like to dance, you know. This whole thing about the happy feet. They like to tap dance and move their feet around and stuff like that. So that's a fun time. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so in this one, I, I can't really compare it to the first one. But, so, there's like this dad character and there's this mom character. And the dad character seems more fluffy. I'm, I think they might be different kinds of penguins. Uh, which is, you know, uh, who, who cares? <laughs> but maybe that was the point in the first one. That was like different kinds of penguins getting together. And it was like a, some social commentary about uh, racism or something. I'm not sure. This one, there's, there's kind of a little bit going on with that. But, uh, <laughs> oh, there was... There was also a short before the movie. It was Sylvester and Tweety Bird. And that grandma character. So I was like, I wasn't expecting that. But that was kind of fun to see. But anyway, back to the Happy Feeds number two. So they got this little kid. And this little kid is embarrassed because he was trying to dance. And he accidentally fell on his head and peed on himself. As you do in a cartoon <laughs> for children. I was a little surprised by that. But, <laughs> but uh, so... So, like, he's like, there's this other character. He's a different kind of penguin. He's got, like, a little mohawk. And he's like, I'm leaving. And uh, the little kids, they, like, the main little boy and his two friends, they, like, follow him. And they're like, we're going on an adventure. And blah, blah, blah. And they find these. This movie's really old, so I'm going to do spoilers. But they find the, these other, these other uh, <laughs> uh, penguin characters, you know. And it's like, there's, they seem to be like different kinds. And there's one who's masquerading as a penguin and he's not. This movie had like live action characters. Whenever it showed humans, they were live action. That was weird. So, <laughs> that was going on. But, uh, yeah. So, they're doing that. And this, this like, this one penguin who's not actually a penguin... He's like, like become like a self-help guru sort of thing for the penguin community. And, you know, the little boy looks up to him and his dad's like, it should be more practical, you know, sort of thing. <laughs> so that's the kind of story. And there's like some global warming sort of stuff going on because it's like on Antarctica, but the environment's changing and it's, you know, it's causing a ruckus in their community sort of thing and like the one community of penguins they get trapped somehow you know uh, and then the other penguins they gotta try to help sort of thing <laughs> there's a weird side story with these two shrimps deciding to go off on their own and not be in the swarm it was like a completely different movie this whole thing with the little shrimps is like a completely different movie that was weird but <laughs> It wasn't bad. I actually enjoyed that, the story with the little shrimps a little more. 
it's like that could have been like a short you know before the before the penguin movie and it would have been fine because it's like the shrimps that can't talk to the penguins and the penguins don't talk to the shrimps so it really is like two different movies happening simultaneously so that's kind of odd you don't see that often but it is what it is but yeah so <laughs> Uh, yeah, but, I mean, I enjoyed the movie. The animation, it was pretty good. It was, it was a little bit dated, you know? And there's times when the penguins are really walking like penguins and it's awkward because those animals kind of move funny. And then there's times when they're moving much more fluid and being a lot more expressive and stuff like that. So it's kind of strange that they didn't, you know, like, uh, pick a lane or whatever but it is what it is uh, yeah happy so happy feet too it's not it's not that bad it's kind of enjoyable yeah so those are my first thoughts and opinions after seeing happy feet too yeah i'm throwing them up on the thoughts and opinions pile they'll soon be buried by everybody else's thoughts and opinions obviously so you you can tell me your thoughts and opinions you know, you can put them in the comments. You can like, subscribe, ring the bell, all that wonderful stuff. Don't forget to, don't forget to feed your cat, you know, and don't forget to make sure your shoes are tied before you leave the house, all that sort of stuff.